Man, this movie was a lie, and my nose would have glowed. Hey guys, this is Chuck Fan Media here, and today I'm going to review on the 2022 Disney live action remake of Pinocchio. It is a remake of the 1940 Disney animated classic. And yes, this is a returning of the 1940 animated classic with some different changes. But before I give up my thoughts on the live action Pinocchio, remake from Disney, I'm going to share my thoughts on the 1940 animated classic first. I saw the original classic on VHS a lot, and I still love this Disney movie. It has a really good message of being truthful and brave. And no, I'm not watching Pinocchio True Story. It looks terrible, and even though it's the first Pinocchio movie of 2022, I'm not watching it. And I'm also looking forward to Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. It comes out after Disney's live action remake of Pinocchio. I hope Guillermo del Toro's version is good. So yeah, I watched the 2022 Pinocchio live action remake of, of this, but prior to that, I saw the trailers a bit, and I hope it will be one of the more watchable Disney live action remakes. And then it came out on Disney Plus Day of 2022, and I watched it, and here's my thoughts. Disappointed! So yeah, from being promised to be one of the more watchable Disney live action remakes to potentially wasted line disappointment. This is a complete disappointment. But here are the pros I can give out to this live action remake from Disney. Tom Hanks actually did pretty fine as Geppetto. He, he did really good acting. I can say Joseph, whatever his last name is, did really good as Jiminy Cricket. And the CGI Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket were faithfully accurate to the original 1940 movie. The visual effects are stunning, and there are nice re-renditions of the original songs in the 1940 films, such as When you wish upon a star and I've got no strings. Yeah, those are nice. But for the most part of this live action remake, this movie actually pisses me off. Once we get into the clock scene where it references other Disney properties, I completely lost my excitement. And also after Pinocchio finished his I've Got No Strings performance. The clock scene relies on too many pop culture references. And yeah, for pop culture references, I mean the clock scene references the Disney properties. I felt that scene feels forced and unnecessary. Man, the characters in this remake are sort of lame. The new donkey transformation is awful. Monster in this remake sucks. The soundtrack is kind of forgettable. The humor also fell flat. The direction feels off. And the story is pretty weak. Overall, man. Like I said before, this Disney live action remake did have a potential to be one of the more watchable Disney live action remakes. But it ended up being a wasted potential that shockingly felt emotionally empty. I'm giving Disney's live action remake of Pinocchio a C minus for bad. Damn it, what a letdown. So that's my movie review on Disney's live action remake of Pinocchio from 2022. So let me know what you think of this movie in the comments below. I'll see you guys later.